वेलकम टू द चैनल आर के लर्नर फॉर जेई मेन्स एंड एडवांस्ड द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द हैंगिंग ब्लॉक इफ द वेलोसिटीज ऑफ द फ्री एंड्स ऑफ द रोप आर एज इंडिकेटेड इन द फिगर वी आर हैविंग द पिक्चर हियर इट इज शोन दैट देर आर थ्री पुलिस एंड हियर इज द ब्लॉक ओके सो फाइनली वी हैव टू फाइंड the velocity of this block the velocity of free ends of the ropes are given 2 meter per second and 1 meter per second left and right respectively there are two methods to answer i will show you the first one here first here i simply chose the length from this end to somewhere here as l1 from here to here as l2 from here to here as l3 somewhere here to here as l4 if i add all those lengths together l1 plus l2 plus right l3 plus l4 okay so this sum becomes a constant whatever the value it is it is it should be a constant because it's a single rope so now if i differentiate this with respect to time dl1 by dt plus dl2 by dt plus dl3 by dt plus dl4 by dt which is equal to 0 if uh, the interval if the interval dt is uh, taken 1 second right then what i can write for this this is dl1 plus dl2 plus dl3 plus dl4 is equals 0 okay here just observe <coughs> what happens here here the velocity of the rope at this point otherwise the pulley is upward with velocity v and here also the velocity is v these two points should move up with the same speed then how we can write here this is v is equals dl2 by dt but what i said dt is 1 second so then what i can write here therefore dl2 is simply v this is one of the result and here i can write the same right so here also i can write the same it is v is equals dl3 divided by dt therefore dl3 is simply equal to v this is also one important result now i use these things here let me keep dl1 first as it is dl2 is v plus dl3 is also v plus dl4 which is equals 0 no doubt it is dl1 plus 2v plus dl4 is equals 0 so now think about dl1 and dl4 okay so what actually dl1 and dl4 are on this side the length of uh, the rope is increasing 2 meter in every se one second okay here uh, length increases length increases by 2 meter in 1 second and on this side where where we are calling the right free end uh, length increases length increases uh, by 1 meter in 1 second right so then this change itself is dl1 and this itself is dl4 so what i can write here dl1 is 2 meter plus 2v2 i mean 2v plus dl4 is 1 which is equals 0 otherwise i simply write 2v plus 3 is equals 0 or v is equals minus 3 by 2 meter per second if i just want the number so then speed is equals 3 by 2 meter per second this will be the speed of uh, this one okay so this block is moving up with uh, that much speed 
since the pulley is moving up with this speed block should move up with the same speed so definitely i can simply say it is a 3 by 2 meter per second this is the first method okay so let me tell you the second method here in the same picture uh, you have to observe some tensions one of the tension is a uh, here in this direction one more tension i can say here meantime here and here okay you can observe two tensions here and two tensions in this direction therefore net is a uh, zero otherwise whole system never displays so for that the work done by all the tension is zero so thinking that uh, net work done by the network done net uh, work done by the tension is a zero since there are many tensions i can simply say w is equals summation of tension into the displacement displacement uh, is now called dl so which is equals zero right so here in this portion what where we get uh, the displacement as a dl1 right here i can simply say it is a t into dl1 plus here i get uh, the displacement uh, dl2 right it is t into dl2 plus here i get the displacement dl3 so it is t dl3 plus it is uh, t and here i get dl4 the displacement dl4 t into dl4 which is equal to zero you just keep in mind that this displacement is a uh, right in one second it is two meter per second right so therefore t into two plus this displacement is dl2 and in one second if we choose the speed upward speed as v this also v then what i can write v is equals dl2 divided by one second or v is equals simply dl2 similarly i can write v is equals dl3 right so for that i can simply say t into v plus t into v plus t into the displacement on this side in one second is a one meter per second so i simply write one which is equals zero otherwise in total i can simply write it is 3t plus 2tv is equals zero so further i can simply write it 2v i mean 2tv is equals uh, minus uh, 3t so now t get cancel uh, further it is v is equals minus 3 by 2 meter per second if i want only the magnitude that is number it is simply 3 by 2 meter per second so this is our answer so in both methods we get the same and be careful the pulley is not coming down rather it is moving up right so whole pulley is moving up that means this one this pulley is moving up that will be the speed of uh, the block also right so now the answer is 3 by 2 meter per second upward so that is this answer option one is correct